Lena. That's Lena. Yep. See, it has no mirrors. Have... It's all illegal. This whole car That's is illegal. Nice. I have to... Mimi! 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 Oh, oh, yeah, that's awesome. That's nice. Yeah, so and it will be in there. Yeah, yeah it's, it gets oh, beautiful. Be it gets beat up. The painted. I like the paint. Yeah, yeah, it, it gets beat up, but it's it's good. It might be closer. Here. It's not too bad. Did you put you drive it? Yeah, I drive it. You drive it. Oh, hard, yeah. Oh, yeah. I race it. Oh. Yeah, hold on. I'm gonna close the door. I'm Monica's in a in a in a front back. You ready, Lena? Uh -huh. Alright, let's go. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Are you sure you know how to ride a horse? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Lena. Did you do good? Uh -huh. Good job. Here. <laughs> What is going on guys back home? I want to talk about how hard ta running tandem on a road course is. It's, it's a lot harder than I initially thought it would be because you have to focus on way more than just the guy in front of you. Like where you're going, make sure you're taking the correct line. Guys ahead of us, it's a lot harder than the previous tandem sessions I had on the skid pad. Skid pad's pretty cool because it's wide and everyone just kind of throws like super wide angle, hard, blah, blah, blah. But when you're doing on a road course, you're kind of running less angle, more speed, and um, it's chaotic. It's really, really much more difficult. That's a skid pad, but I think I did an okay job. I was pretty bummed out the that day yesterday, but um, in hindsight, I'm pretty pumped up. I'm happy I was able to do that. Um, I'm not sure if that was my last. I know I always contradict myself, but I really am not sure if that's going to be my last event because there's one more and I really do want to go, but it all depends on like this next week, how it goes. This week, it's just me and Lena Bop alone and uh, depends how much work we can get done. I want to clean up, get everything situated. Like I have tires everywhere. I want to put them away and get everything um, organized. That way we can get to work. My car is filthy, so I'm gonna quickly throw my old tires in the um, basement and then uh, we'll get back to work. I wanna check some stuff out and I just obviously need to get that done. Such wide it's back organized. I just gotta find my gloves, wherever they are. But overall, I, was, I think I was a little hard on myself. I was, this always happens when I start to get good at something or like relatively not a new beginner. Um, I get super hard on myself where if I don't perform where I should be, I get really, really discouraged. Not discouraged, but like super bummed out to the point where it's like, I don't know, just discouraged, I guess you could say. So something I've done my whole life, I just have to get better and not do it with this because you never, I mean, 
I mean, it's gonna take a long time. It's gonna take more than one season to get really extremely good at driving. So I can't find my gloves. Guys, so the plans for the off season is we're gonna give for now we we think we're gonna be giving the S14 a refresh, kind of freshening her up, doing um, more so cosmetic work, like fixing some issues. Nothing really performance wise, we're gonna be focusing kind of like aesthetic so I don't wanna touch, everything's dialed in right now and I really want to perfect drifting with this as of right now. So we're gonna cage it, we're going to do a little bit of aesthetic pleasing stuff. Um, fenders, don't know about over fenders, new body kit. Um, and then, but definitely cage, I wanna get a little bit of gauges, I wanna get oil temp, water temp. Um, and yeah, I think that's it as of the plan right now. This baby will be taken care of. This 13 coupe is just going to be a cleaned up over time, and eventually it'll be a dope coupe, ugh, dope clean coupe. So, super pumped up about that. And we'll get going. I think I'm done though, because I just want to go relax. It's it's been a it's been a long week. I'm uh, I'm ready to kick back and relax, do a little editing. And then uh, get to work tomorrow. This week it's just me and Lena, like I said. It's gonna be d different. To oh, I forgot to put away my bumper. It's gonna be interesting to navigate through this week with it's just me and Lena. Monica's going away. I'm sure it'll be fine. I just have to manage and figure that out. So it should be easy because, well, not easy, but um, it shouldn't be too bad because Lena's a trooper and usually I can just, um, we could just hang out in the garage, film some content. She usually says, you know some funny stuff so i'm down with that my bumper is pretty much toasted um there's no saving this thing i don't i don't want to get rid of it because it's literally my first bumper that i my literally my first bumper i've had for drift events so it's kind of sentimental to my i think we had a heck of a if it does end i think we had a heck of a season there's uh there's nothing more I could have asked for for this season. I think we really hit all of our goals, all all the things we wanted to learn, especially the the e-brake. Um, I really wanted to learn how to use my e-brake, and after this last event, I was almost forced to because when running tandem, those guys run a different line than I do when I'm on solo. Forced me to use my e-brake, take the line that basically where you don't manji every 30 seconds. So. I'm pumped guys, I'm gonna get to work. Holla at your boy guys, thank you so much for your support. Go check out becausedaddy.com, we got new jackets. We're coming up with a lighter jacket for those who aren't in the Northeast and it's freezing. Not, it's not cold yet, but um, it's gonna get cold. So, holla at your boy guys, happy freaking Monday. We love you. I don't know if this video will end, but if it does, see you tomorrow, home first. And nothing's ever made me cry as much as you, I swear. Your smile gives me motivation and some new ideas. My worst fear was always you not knowing who I am Cause I've been on the road dream chasing for you out here I was the first thing that you opened your eyes to And the last one that you said goodnight to I went home and cried to And I bawled my eyes out and then watched you Glad I got you, that's a blatant fact And every negative thing I said I swear I'll take it back